overflows. Life a play of energy. Life is a play of energy and energy is the liquid form of emotions and feelings. We can say life is energy. When energy flows freely, life moves. Else, life gets stuck at one point or the other. This is stagnation as we call it. No flow, no movement. I remember the electric lock in the store door that was working on electrical energy for nearly two months it was not functioning. The technician tried several things, change switch, door magnet and this and that. It started working but then by pulling or pushing with the force the door unlocks. He adjusted the magnet. Now this is so tightly closed that it cannot open the door even with the switch. Technician had to look into it again. In such situation, he started seeing there is some evil spirit or jinx as nothing is working. I told him this place has no negative energy or spirit. Such is the situation in life that we that each one of us faces. When energy gets stuck, we keep on saying things like that. One asks, why am I stagnant and why there is no meaning in life? Remember at one point, this was your state as well, right? And now you came out of this situation, how? Energy always gets stuck at one place alone, not at several places. One place is the main point, while the rest are secondary, they are operational places from where you operate. Once primary cause is known, flow is released. When energy is stuck, it manifests at the level of the mind as psychological problems. No problem is or can be a spiritual. A spiritual one, at that level, there are only solutions. But ignorantly man considers that the problem is a spiritual. Mind is the problem and to live by mind creates more problems. Heart is the solution. When heart and head are in harmony with one another, flow and one pulse. For the first time you realize the beingness. This realization gives you the taste of you, the bliss. Remember, without harmony within, emotions play a devil's role. In that situation, you are denied harmony's blissful existence. Relationship remains stagnant and constant cause of deep anguish and other related social ills. There is a direct gross and subtle connection between emotions, relations, relationships and the way of relating. Deep understanding is needed for life to flow in rhythm as musical harmony. Emotions, relations, relationships are noun. Relating and emoting are verbs. Man does not know the way to relate and without understanding how to relate, you cannot attain to inner harmony and bliss. And life shall remain chaotic. 
relationship is and can be both fixed or stationary and dynamic fixed or stationary relationships comes with birth it is also known as blood relationships your relationship with your parents and children remain fixed and cannot change in any way you cannot change your parents or children it is a different matter how children treat their parents or they interact with one another the next type of relationship is dynamic relationship between a spouse and friends comes in this category one can change a spouse and friends at will just like one changes garments when things change or are not according to one's liking we abandon the existing relationship for another one life continues like this in a chaotic manner how do you relate with another person depends on inner harmony and balance one must have deep understanding of human psychology and social conditionings relating is a conscious effort but we relate unconsciously unconscious relating depends on egocentric identities conditionings and many other factors as long as one does not understand this life of misery and conflict continues unabated without harmony within emotions play a devil's role in that situation you are denied harmony's blissful existence emotions are energy to propel life and continue living however this energy remains frozen in most of the cases almost life long in certain moments this energy flows but only temporarily one experiences now and then moments of happiness it is erroneous to call these moments of happiness as moments of bliss one experiences now and then moments of happiness but such moments are spread far and wide as a result life remains forever a source of misery and conflict for a blissful existence first emotions need to start flowing and remain fluid fluid for emotions to be fluid deep understanding is needed you need an understanding of existing of existential we how does existence operate how this energy flows how to harness it how to initiate this process of its fluidity its role in the process of transformation and how to create harmony between energy and egocentric identities and conditionings how to allow this energy keep flowing emits ebbs and flows of life once this understanding dawns emotions start flowing first through each and every situation of life you remain a witness to such play without any inner disturbance as and as understanding becomes more and more clear this emotional energy remains fluid in every situation and through each interaction 
with objects and beings in life. Its flow continues and eventually becomes natural and spontaneous. This is most difficult aspect in life, at least in the beginning. However, once its flow becomes natural and spontaneous, evaporation of this energy begins. As this energy begins to evaporate, emotions become a great force for transformation. And when they become a source of transformation, they you start getting centered. You discover your center. And once you discover your center of energy, then you can use any center as an operational center. Just as within your house, there is a center of electrical energy, that is your main junction box where the energy or the electric current comes from the outside source or you can call it existential source then that is the main source from where you switch it off switch it on then it flows throughout the entire system of the entire of system of the house if the energy does not reach there, then all that your channels or they will remain inoperative. So that is the center and various switches and plug points in different rooms and other places. They are the operational center. You cannot operate your fridge from the center where the electricity is, you have to operate it from the operational center or the terminal. You have a laptop and laptop has a specific operational system and when the current passes through, then it becomes operative. So there is a difference what is very important, this energy that was frozen begins to flow, begins fluid-like through every ebbs and flows of life. Then you can operate from any center. You can operate any part or organ of your system, your head, your heart, just as when there is electric current, there is Wi-Fi is there and you can operate your electrical appliances, your electrical switches, your laptops and all the other things. But this is the to make the energy flow natural and spontaneous is most difficult aspect in life. At least in the beginning. However, once its flow begin, becomes natural and spontaneous, evaporation of this energy begins. At this, as this energy begins to evaporate, emotions become a great force for transformation. You have discovered your center and the process goes on gaining impetus moment to moment. Emotions become your strength and the source of harmony and blissful life. From now on, life moves differently. Enough for now.